Toughness on display all night long. Moraga takes a body shot, returns oh, one. That hurt. And now Figueiredo buckles him. Referee stepping in, that Smart. is it. Smart Davison stoppage. Figueiredo is... Well, Brandon Moreno looking oh, for his, tight. his tenth submission victory. Ortiz gonna go out. He's out. out. He is out. And Brandon Moreno. There it is. There's the first takedown for Elliott. Take well down, timed. But the arm is... But I tell you what, yeah, that's a dangerous wow. position in attack. Davison Figueiredo gets it done in the first round. Look at that. Brandon Moreno versus Davison Figueiredo 3. Hello MMA fans of MMA Inside. Today in this video we are going to talk about the most exciting fight in the heavyweight division. Well, now as we await another great fight in the flyweight division, there is a great fight which is set right on the cards of UFC lineup for this month. Originally, Moreno and Figueiredo were expected to clash at the UFC 269 card in December but the promotion opted to push back the title fight until January instead. Now, Moreno and Figueiredo are expected to share space on the same card as the expected heavyweight title unification bout between Francis Ngannou and Cyril Gaon. The third fight between Moreno and Figueiredo will happen just over one year after their initial meeting went down in December 2020. On that night, the flyweights battle to a majority draw before being rebooked six months later at UFC 263. In the rematch, Moreno dominated the fight before finishing Figueiredo with a near naked choke in the third round to become flyweight champion. This is not ideal in terms of the placement of the triangle. He'd like it on top. Yes. Because it's putting pressure on his elbow. Look at this. He's, oh, tight. Tight. He's tight. under the chin. Oh that's my tight. god, he's got it! He's got uh, it! He's still fighting. Look like he's oh! it! Brandon Moreno oh! has done it! Tijuana! Brandon Moreno! You have a champion! Now, Moreno will look to defend his title for the first time while Figueiredo will attempt to become a two-time champion in the division. While no location has been announced yet for UFC 270, multiple sources speaking to MMA fighting have indicated that Anaheim, California is currently the front runner to land the event but nothing has been cemented just yet. Moreno will look for the first defense of his flyweight title in December after putting on a dominant showcase in his last meeting with Figueiredo back in June. On that night, the former Ultimate Fighter competitor finished Figueiredo with a rear naked choke midway through the third round. That victory came six months after Moreno and Figueiredo battled to a majority draw following a five round battle at UFC 256. This fight is a majority draw, <laughs> and still oh, man. the undisputed oh. UFC flyweight champion of the world. There had been speculation that perhaps Figueiredo would test the waters at bantamweight after struggling through a hard weight cut in his last fight at 125 pounds against Moreno, but it appears he's not done at flyweight just yet. Prior to his draw against Moreno the first time around, the Brazilian had rattled off five straight wins in a row, including a pair of victories over Joseph Benavidez. Moment after a combination by Benavidez, who appears to be opened up bad above his left eye. This is a crazy fight. Wow, oh! a big cut and down. Oh! Davison Figueiredo ends it. it. As well as taking out Alex Perez in his first title defense as champion. Fight record. Figueiredo holds an incredible MMA record during his time as a professional fighter with 20 wins to only two losses that he took in the entire time, which sets him at the pole position of winning the bout. While on the other hand, we have Brandon Moreno, who holds an astounding record of 19 wins to five losses as his time as a fighter in the UFC. Many of you may think that more losses on Moreno's profile may mean he isn't the better amongst the two, but whosoever his true UFC fan is knows the story well. The first fight went on to a draw, as they both had equal score at the end of the fight. But in the second fight, Moreno showed his class to the world and just about how much capable the guy really is. Moreno submitted Figueiredo in their last face-off, with defeating him by a rear naked choke, winning the fight and claiming his flyweight title on the shoulders. MMA inside verdict? It can go either way, even after Moreno won the last matchup. As both of the fighters have the tendency to give all they have, right in the ring so that's enough from us today i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to subscribe and if you don't moreno will choke you out so subscribe now 
And hey, if you don't, Moldovsky will knock you out. And I will see you in the next video. Hey, subscribe.